Hi, hello. Welcome to SMS video channel. So in this video, I'm going to give a short introduction about program. So I will be introducing uh, the basic principles behind the computing system or the computer and how program is, uh, programming is connected to that uh, computing principles. So this will give you a fundamental idea about uh, what is programming, why we need to write a program uh, for a computer in order to use a computer. So, so let's begin. So what you see in this slide is uh, one of the primitive component which the computer system is made of. The name of this component is transistor. Do we really need to worry about this transistor? And what is the connection? Uh, as a programmer, why should I worry about transistors? See, you might have heard about zeros and ones. Right? It is very popular. Uh, those who are entering into the programming field or those who are introduced to program, computing system, uh, you might have heard that the computer can understand only zeros and ones. Why only zeros and ones? What makes this limitation? It is because of this transistor, which is the primitive component of any computing device. This transistor is capable of maintaining only two voltage levels reliably. Please note, it can maintain reliably only two voltage levels, which is a low voltage level and a high voltage level. So when I say low voltage level, it can be somewhere between 0 to 1.5 volts and the high voltage level can be somewhere between 4 to 5 volts. Because this transistor can reliably maintain only two states, or two voltage level, it can be used to map only two symbols and that symbol is zeros and ones. So which means one day, if you find any material on this earth which can reliably maintain more than two states, for example, our normal number system uses 10 symbols 0 to 9. So, if you find any uh, materials which can reliably maintain 10 states, then probably you can easily map those 10 states to the uh, 10 symbols of a normal decimal number system. So, that's the background. With that background, let me jump into the uh, details of the program. So, what is a program or code or software? You see, a computer cannot solve or do any task on its own. Okay. A computer, you might think that computer is very intelligent and it is doing amazing jobs for you. But in reality, the computer cannot do anything on its own. It doesn't have any intelligence at all. The computer cannot solve or do any task on its own. You have to properly instruct the computer to do what exactly you want the computer to do. Okay, the computer is capable of doing certain operations. And you must tell the computer what the computer has to do for you. So basically, a program is a set of instructions to a computer to perform a job or task. So it is a little piece of our intelligence in the computer. Okay? It is somebody's intelligence which is transferred as a program into the computer. So uh, the users of a computer sometimes think that the computer is really intelligent and it is doing amazing jobs. So what is programming? Computer programming is the art of making a computer to do what you want it to do. So at the very simplest level, it consists of issuing a sequence of commands to a computer to achieve an objective. So programming is what? Programming is actually the job of a teacher. So normally a teacher like me teaches the students. I mean, we teach the human. A programmer teach a machine. Okay. 
So to teach a human, we need a human language. So to teach a machine, we need a machine language. So we have to learn a machine language, which in this case is the programming language. So before jumping into the details of what is a program, we must understand why we need to write a program. After all, the machine, the computer is a machine. Why don't the computer does everything on its own? Or the computer can do things without the need to write a program. So we need to understand that. So for example, I have designed a small computer which is capable of doing only the plus or only the addition operation. Okay. So I use my marketing skills and somehow I made you guys to purchase my computer and you guys are happy for a while adding numbers. After a while, you get bored and anointed by the limitation that this computer can do only addition. Now your requirements are increasing, right? Now you expect the machine to do multiplication. But unfortunately, the machine cannot do multiplication. The machine even don't understand the symbol of multiplication or the instruction multiplication, right? It is designed to execute only one instruction. In this case, is the addition. So what to do? Scratching my head, now I remember my teacher in my school days told me that multiplication is basically addition. So two times three equal to six, which I can achieve it by adding two, adding the number two three times, or adding the number three two times. Two plus two plus two is equal to six, or three plus three plus three equal to six. So now I have to teach my little computer the logic of multiplication using the plus. Doing this requires what is called a program. So the following points are very important. The computer, when I say he, he refers to the machine. Okay. So the machine is not intelligent, but it is very obedient. It can die for you provided you how to tell how to die. Otherwise, it can kill you, perhaps. The machine cannot make any assumptions on its own. And the machine needs to know every little detail. You cannot ignore or omit any details. Right? If you omit or if you make any mistakes, then the machine will follow, simply follow your mistakes. So if you think that the machine is doing wrong or the machine is not not behaving as expected, then it is your mistake. So you have to uh, review the program or the instruction that you gave uh, to the system, the machine. Okay. Understand, guys? So this is the fundamental behind programming. So now what is a programming language? So normally a language is used for the purpose of communication. Okay. So we use language like English to communicate between the human. So here the scenario is we need to communicate to the machine. So there is a human and there is a machine. Unfortunately, the machine don't understand the human languages. So the machine understands only zeros and ones. And uh, it is very difficult for a normal user to deal with zeros and ones. Only the engineers or uh, the experts can deal with zeros and ones. So we are comfortable with uh, human readable languages like English. So, we design programming languages which is more closer to the English uh, language and we can give instruction in uh, this high level uh, language. We call it high level programming language. The instructions are more closer to English statement or English language. And uh, later, another program or another, uh, another program, or we call it a translator which will translate these instructions into the zeros and ones. Finally, the machine will understand these zeros and ones and it will execute your job. Okay. So what do we need for programming? 
we need a system. It can be your desktop or laptop or any computing device. Of course, with an operating system like Windows, Linux, or any any OS. Okay. And you have to install a programming language, and you need an editor or IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. And the last point is very important. You need plenty of practice and a lot of patience. You need plenty of practice and a lot of patience. Okay. Thank you guys. With that, I complete uh, the introduction to uh, programming. Hope you guys have understood what is programming, why we need programming, and what is the need for programming, and what is the limitation that uh, makes the human user to write uh, programming. Thank you very much. See you in my next video.